and fellow Autobots and Decepticons, yeah, you're probably wondering, why the heck do we have a video on Thursday? What's going on? Well, school is officially out for me now, and uh, we got some news to cover. And in terms of news, this is some pretty big news. So, um, if you guys don't know, uh, Transformers The Last Night is still filming right now. It's leaving um, Cuba now, and they're going to go film in Detroit now. So... Uh, they'll probably, you'll be seeing a lot of explosions probably in Detroit and all that, so some of the big stuff that's going on will happen there. And also before we start, I want to give a big shout out to a guy named the TV Knight. He uh, is sponsoring, he did not sponsor this channel, but he, he subscribed to this channel and uh, he's a pretty good guy. Go check out his channel, he has pretty good videos. And uh, yeah, um, so from jublu.com, I don't know, jublu, can't even say, can't even say the name, but um yeah, I'll leave a link to the video in the description below, and go check it out, because, um, this man has, apparently, a lot of coverage, and a lot of scoops on movies, and what one do you might ask? Well, Transformers Last Night, he apparently got a scoop, and by scoop, he got a big, he got a really big scoop, so, apparently, he ha revealed some of the titles for and and also revealed some of the some plot in the movie. So we're gonna talk about it right now. So um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you if I think it's real or if it's fake. We're gonna discuss it all in this video. So we're actually gonna watch the video. We're actually gonna watch the video, and we're gonna do a rundown and discuss this. So just give me a second to pull it up for a second. All right, I got the video. So I'm going to click play, and here we go. Okay. I, love it. Man, I love that scene from the first movie. That's such an iconic scene. Very we fluid. are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet fluid. Cybertron. My name is Optimus Prime. That is. Right. Hey guys, Paul Shirey with JoeBlow.com here with another new scoop. This time from Michael Bay's fifth entry in the Transformers franchise, Transformers The Last Night. Yep. Now, since we've gotten the title reveal, there's been plenty of speculation to go around in terms of what the story for the fifth film will be. After all, a title like that really doesn't reveal much, so it could really go anywhere. But today we're going to clear up some of that. Right. Now, I can't say that I'm exactly over the moon for a new Transformers film from Michael <laughs> Bay, but I am definitely a fan of the director. I know. Nobody's I just wish really he'd do more films like The Rock, film, Pain you know Gain, what? or the tragically underrated 13 Hours. Yeah, 13 Hours. And while hours. I enjoyed the first Transformers film, I'd love to see his talents on projects that don't involve transforming hunks of metal, but this one is happening no matter what, so let's see if there's anything to be excited about as a result. For starters, we already know that Mark Wahlberg is back, yes. which we can confirm. We can confirm that, yeah. uh, How he plays into the story, we don't know, but his Cade Yeager is definitely in play here. As well as returning cast member Josh Dumal yes. as Lieutenant Colonel William Lennox. Uh, also recently added is Anthony Hopkins, uh, whose presence should make a lot more sense uh, after this scoop. Now, the story for Transformers The Last Night will involve Optimus Prime finding his home planet of Cybertron, which is now a dead planet, uh, which he comes to find that he was responsible for killing. Now, he finds a way to bring the planet back to life, but in order to do so, he needs to find an artifact. And of course... Okay, we're going to stop right there. So, mainly what the plot suggested is that uh, Optimus Prime goes to Cybertron, and apparently the planet is now dead. And uh, he is apparently responsible for it. Um, okay, um, I'm not... Super sure on how that goes or why he's responsible, but uh, I could kind of see them going that route if they want to do it. But I don't know, man. That's a little uh, I don't know. It's a little interesting, but uh, yeah, Cybertron I can honestly see coming to play here. But this is a this is a weird. I don't know. Um, let's keep playing it. Uh, the plot don't know, but. Let's keep going, sir. So. Okay. Artifact is on Earth. What is that artifact? Well, here's where things get weird. 
guy. Somehow, the artifact ties into Merlin, the magician of King Arthur lore. So apparently the power of magic was given to Merlin by none other than a Transformer. And somehow the artifact ties into this. As far as what the artifact is, we can't say, but I wouldn't be surprised if it has something to do with the famed sword Excalibur. Okay. Alright, so another artifact story. Um, okay, we've, done, we've seen this done in all the Michael Bay movies. We've seen it in, in the first one with the Allspark. We've seen the second one with the Matrix. The third one was the Pillars. And the fourth one was the Seed. So, um, if it's a sword... That would be interesting. I would like to see a sword come into play. Uh, uh, I don't know. That's uh, that's an interesting concept that they'd go do that route. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of uh, what else he said. Um, it involves a lot of medieval times, and an old Transformer apparently gave him this artifact. So uh, that would explain the old cars that we're getting in, in this movie. Because if you notice on set, there's a lot of old cars. So... That would explain the, the old cars, but, um, it's interesting, so, we'll talk about more about it at the end, but let's keep watching it, so, that's an interesting part, part of it. That's just speculation on my part, but it sounds reasonable. Now, of course, we've seen the effects of time travel in these films already, and are aware of Transformers visiting Earth throughout the planet's existence. Okay, uh, just, to, just to clarify, uh, t time travel, they, it was involved in, uh, in, uh, in Revenge of the Fallen of Jetfire. Just to tell you that, so they did do time travel on that, so just in case you're wondering what that meant. So Sorry. that certainly fits with the universe they've created, and now it appears that the story will add British mythology to the narrative. In right. terms of new and returning Transformers, we can confirm that Bumblebee will return, yes. this time in a leadership role, while Optimus is off on his own mission. Okay, so, alright, so Bumblebee taking on a leadership role... We kind of, I, I'll be honest, I kind of knew that this was going to happen because um, they told us in Age of Extinction that he did lead the Autobots, so I would assume that. And Optimus Prime's off on his own mission, so I, like I said in my last video, I kind of assumed that there were going to be two plots in this movie, one with Optimus Prime, one with Bumblebee and the rest of the Autobots, so seems like they're doing that with here, so uh, yeah, seems like I was right on, that, right on that part, so let's keep going. Returning are Hound, Crosshairs, and Drift. Okay, we can't confirm that. We can't confirm that they're back, but we can. it's safe to assume that they are back, so. Autobots, who are now settled on Earth, are making their home in the Badlands of South Dakota, which will okay. serve as their base of operations. Um, base of operations? Um, I don't know if he means, uh, if the military's back, like, if that's why Captain Lennox is back, or they just set up their own base like they do in Transformers Prime. But, again, in Transformers Prime, they had the military help them out set up the base, so. Uh, I don't know if they're still rogues, or if they're with the military now. Don't know. So, well, let's keep going. Now, also returning are the Dinobots, with the added addition of mini Dinobots. What those are, or how they play out, is unclear, but there you go. Okay, so... Okay, so we don't know if the Dinobots are back. They haven't confirmed that either. But I have a feeling when we when they're going into Detroit filming, we're gonna a little bit hear more about the Dinobots. But many Dinobots. Okay, I'm gonna do a separate video on many Dinobots because I feel like this is a concept that was explored. But many Dinobots. Um, I don't know why they would do this or if that is true. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say that that part's BS because I can't really. I don't see that happening. I think that. We're just going to stick with the Dinobots that we have. Maybe one more Dinobot, but I, don't, I think we're mainly sticking with these four just because I don't know if we can get many Dinobots. They would really have to explain why many Dinobots would come into play. But that's kind of a new concept, I guess. I don't know. I'll search up what many Dinobots are, but yeah, I don't believe that part, so let's keep going. There will be three new Transformers as well, including some with English origins, which is likely where Anthony Hopkins will come into play. Okay. Okay. So you guys know that I've been doing videos on Anthony Hopkins possibly playing a... possibly playing Unicron or Thundertron. Now, they are saying that this character, there'll be a British-based Transformer. And... 
I can kind of see Anthony Hopkins taking on something like that. And uh, it seems appropriate, and I think that he might do it. I still believe Unicron's in this movie. I still believe Unicron could be in this movie. Um, but just thinking about it more, I think Anthony Hopkins suits more of a Transformer Autobot voice, and it would seem cool if it was somebody who, I guess, I would think it would probably be Hoist, Springer, or Red Alert. Those are my three guesses of who they can be. So, uh, we'll talk more about that in another video too, but let's keep going. Such characters called the Creator, who is said to have ties to the origins of the Transformers. A Transformer with an English accent named Cogman, whose alt mode is an Aston Martin, will appear, as well Cogman. I've never heard of a Transformer named Cogman before. Very interesting. Transformer named Squeaks, whose alt mode is a Vespa. Squeaks. Okay, so we've seen a Transformer with a motorcycle with a Decepticon on it, and it's called, and uh, we saw it on set, and I guess that his name is Squeaks. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna search up these names and see if these are Transformer names, because these don't sound like Transformer names to me. If they are, they're really old, because that, so let's keep going. Likely, I'd wager one of those uh, will be voiced by Anthony Hopkins. In addition, as has already been officially confirmed, the main villain is again Megatron, who will be back in full form with an alt mode as a jet fighter. And that's what have. Okay. Again, we don't know if it's Megatron. I still call BS on that. I don't think it's Megatron. And this kind of confirms that he doesn't know much about, about the, the origins, or much about the movie anyway. Because he basically said, oh yeah, Megatron's coming back and he has a jet mode. A jet mode? Uh, we've already seen that before in the first movie. I'm just saying. Is there anything else? Just, just, just in case. Latest installment of Transformers. It sounds consistent with the high concept ties that the previous films have used, so it's not a huge stretch in that regard. How it all comes together will be another story, but you can certainly expect the usual amount of robotic bayhem carnage, which seems to be the main appeal to these films at the moment. I just hope it's not three hours worth this time. Let us know what you think of the latest developments in the new Transformers. Okay, I think, I, I think that's it. But, uh, yeah, interesting concept. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do it, but it could happen. So, um, that's it. That's my breakdown of all this plot news that just came out. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Some of the stuff is real. Some of the stuff is fake. Some of it's just total BS. But, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about this, this, uh, these plot leaked. And, uh, yeah. I'll have a link to the video in the description below. And expect this video to come out around, like, Friday or Saturday. Because this is a long video. So, uh, yeah. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it. We are Rollout Nation, and we always roll out. See you next time. And also, Megatron's not, not back. Just saying.